Hello Anna, um, my name's Steve, I live in South Australia, um, as you can probably tell, I wasn't born here. We moved from the UK in 2007, my wife and my two children, um, it was a very sad time when we left, that last morning with my parents, um, saying goodbye. Um, We've tried to see them quite often over the years. Um, they've been over to see us here. And um, we went back to see them in 2016. Um, not under great circumstances. We were actually going back to see my wife's sister who was terminally ill. Um, we had planned this year for um, May, June to go back to my parents um, and to see all of my family, my brother, his wife, all their kids and all their wives and girlfriends. My mother was so pleased and happy. She'd uh, arranged a very big house for us to rent down in the Cotswolds. We were all gonna spend four days down there together, which would have been lovely. Needless to say, that whole trip was cancelled and um, my parents are now in their mid 80s I speak to them every week on Skype but now what troubles me is um, I think it's unlikely that I'll ever be able to actually see them in person again because either flights will just not be allowed from here back to the UK or back the other way or more likely, um, there'll be um, restrictions based on whether we've had um, vaccinations against this um, dubious virus at best. So I have to contemplate the possibility that when each of my parents dies, I won't be able to go back and either go to the funeral or go to comfort my remaining remaining parent and that just fills me with sadness and I can't imagine my story is isolated there's so many expats all over the world that whether it's from the UK or just other countries that are not going to see their loved ones again in person unless they compromise their own principles and uh, um, unfortunately, that principle for me of taking a vaccine that will do me untold damage and the rest of the family is just simply not on the table. So with that sad story told, on a more positive note, I think this problem of our governments as the puppets and their masters, whoever they may be, it's easily solved. But I've said to many people, the, the way that we solve it is we have to stand together. Just do what the, the ants did on that film, The Bug's Life. You know, there was Big Hopper saying if they ever realise that they outnumber us a thousand to one, then the game's up. And that's all we need to do. So all I can suggest is Try and organise yourselves locally to group together because people don't get arrested when they're in large groups. It's very easy for the police and forces to pick off individuals. But just stand together. Stand together and say no and just do what you want to do. You're just individual humans entitled to do what you want as long as you're not harming anybody else and that's probably all i've got to say so good luck thank you anna thank you anybody else that's listening and just keep fighting thanks